I just walk out into my front yard. Yeah, it's still here. What can we do about it? Let's get to it. We have had an extremely unlucky year, but what can we do? There's no use dreading on it. We still have work to do in the fields. I really want to get to baling our straw so we could get our fields prepped. We did uh, service up our uh, big uh, Steiger, Tiger here. So it is all ready to go, even though it fell in into a hole. This thing is built like a tank. It's got the rice tires on it. Tank. All right, so I did fix up our 4050 here. I wanted to get everything ready to go so I can use it on the baler. So I did put on the duels just because it's a little sticky icky out there. You know, a little moist in the field. Figured uh, duels might do it good. Uh, got the bale spear on it and got the loader hooked up on it. All right, so now, all right, uh, can I get this out of here? I don't think I can get it out of here. I'm going to have to move the Steiger here out of the way to hook up the baler here quick. The beast is awake. Back this up. Ooh, there's a tree there. So everything is out of the hole over here, so we don't have anything really. I did get the rest of that uh, field, our big large field over there harvested. Harvest is done, so we don't have to do any more of that. We, I just really like to get into the field, start prepping it. Need to do a little animal care, so alright, let's start up this. I have to say, I really enjoy this uh, tractor, it's one of my... Uh, favorite John Deere's out there. I'm gonna leave this spear right over here. Unhitch that, alright. Get ready to grow. So we, I'm gonna hook up my Vermeer baler over here. Got it uh, packed up into my uh, barn over on the hill. up the doors. There's the Vermeer. Man, is that a good looking team there. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Love that team look right there. John Deere. I think John Deere should really buy out Vermeer. I just think it's uh, the perfect. They probably won't because they make their own bailing technology, so... But it would be nice as long as they keep the colors and everything. Uh-oh. So, I just realized, how do I get on the other side of my hole? Hmm, I'm going to have to take the scenic route all the way around here. Drive over a bridge and around the woods. Yep. That field is harvested. It took us uh, a couple days to harvest that field. It's all done and in the bins. And uh, my cultivator is still in the middle of it. I know. I know. Drive down here over to our uh, corn stocks. It's time to uh, roll some corn. It's a little bit different than shelling corn. The corn is already shelled. Now we gotta roll it. Gotta roll the stocks up. So we're gonna use this for a little bit of uh, forage for the cattle. Not really uh, great on uh, nutritional value, but it's good for uh, bedding for the cattle, especially during calving season. Here we go. Man, do I like this team. This is one uh, wavy uh, corn. 
combine driver. I don't know who that combine driver, is, that harvester driver is, but man, he really didn't make these rolls right. He never was harvesting this field. In other news, I, I did, a lot of people were asking me what happened to all my uh, trouble I had with the uh, police. If you know, I, uh, I did some illegal stuff. Uh, as in pulling trailers overloaded and stuff, so they did end up taking my license. The good thing is, is this is a piece of farm equipment. You don't need a license because this is farm equipment. That's why you see a lot of young kids are able to drive a tractor. So I can drive a tractor around. I just can't drive any of my uh, vehicles. My truck, my uh, Bronco, any of that. Oops, I was paying attention to the row and I speared that bale. Good thing I had my loader on, otherwise I would have dented my tank up there. With that, uh, I guess uh, you guys should sit back and enjoy a little uh, montage here. heard some loud pop. We better shut that off. Or investigate. Oh no. Looks like we uh, our main tire there got uh, popped or flat. It just looks like it might have popped off the rim there. So these stocks ain't really great for tires. Especially them. They, they can really destroy even uh, tractor tires here just because they kind of jab in. I mean, look at that. They're, they're, they're a little sharp sometimes. And they jab into them tires. Shut this off here. We're going to have to go get this fixed. This would be a really easy fix if I had a driver's license and I could drive my truck over here. But I don't. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get on the kill wheeler get the air bubble over here and hopefully pop inflate this tire uh, here we go that's what we need grab that over there that on there like so all right uh, ooh, I think we could shoot through this right through these wagons here all right we're gonna take the back way around the yard here. Make sure you guys duck, all right? Oh. oh, are you okay? Are you okay? You guys got a duck there, crazies. All right. There we go. Wow, that was one hard ding. I hope that doesn't leave a mark. over here a little uh, air bubble shot oh looky there filled up got everything all right let me shut this off now we need to pick up all these round bales put them in the 
field. The only thing is, my round bale trailer is at the dealer. It's not here. Which, for me to pick it up at the dealer, I have to drive a tractor. Because I don't have a license because I'm a bad boy. I'm naughty. So, they took my license. I don't have it. I think I'm going to use the 81. Man, do I miss driving my truck. Man, just looking at him makes me uh, regret all my actions recently. Not to say that driving a tractor isn't great, but uh, it's a little inefficient. I can make a lot better time if I'm driving my uh, truck around or be able to hook up my gooseneck trailer onto my uh, beautiful Ford, but I got to use the tractor now because that's the only way I can uh, drive around town. Here is my beautiful trailer. So it does, it can be used as anything. It can be used as a uh, hauling trailer or it could just be used as a bale trailer. All right, we got it all hitched up. So it has almost everything on it. It's nice. So bales sit in right there. You can strap them down. Otherwise you can uh, put the plates back there and use it to haul our, a vehicle or something. We can, uh, beans, we can haul our uh, Ford around with our tractor on here on our trailer if we have to. All right, let me get these. Uh, looks like, I don't know why it didn't come with a spare. All right, get these uh, jacks lifted up here. All right, now let's start heading home. Get on home. Start uh, moving some bales at uh, like 21 mile an hour got the bale trailer running oh, Jeremy here must have ended up buying uh, purchasing uh, Grant's old truck over here still sitting there it's a good looking truck though I have to say that alright where is the best place to go at Got to go around all this junk. And go. All right. Just head in the field here. Got to finish up round bailing a little bit. Go get my spear and start loading up this trailer. All right. That is done. Now I just have to finish up my little round bailing I have left. Start up a baler. Or the pickup. Alright. Alright, that is unhooked. We'll leave that here for now. Got this back in the field. Time to uh, haul little bales. Gotta do a little spearing. We'll spear the bales. That down a little bit. Probably a little bit too far down. Oh well. Why, why aren't we spearing very good? Uh, do I have to get a run for the spear? Yeah. It's definitely not spearing the best. You know, you guys probably already noticed it, but there's something wrong with this map. Why? These don't really look like corn stock bales because corn stock bales you'd actually be able to see the corn stalks in them so you guys probably already noticed just so I mean you guys can hit me up down below but it's not my fault that's the map's fault there can't control that so probably some script that needs to be loaded it's not loaded straw bales are just as good as corn stalks they're used for the same reason for bedding for cattle Get down here. I'm trying to load two bales at once here. Alright, pick that bale up. Get this other bale up here. Really wish these would uh, come out right. Try to get as close as possible to the other one. Just down. Probably uh, hit that bale a little bit. Move it down. And we just kind of push them up. Uh -uh. Try to push them together as much as possible. Uh, 
Oh, no, don't want that. Looks like we are going to have to get our other grapple forks. These are just not the right forks. They do not work picking up bales, at least for me they don't. I ended up getting the new bucket here put on. You might say, hey, Stevio, that bucket's a little bit big for that tractor. You'd be right. You'd be right. Can't help but that other bucket doesn't work properly. So I'm going to get that hitch put back on, or spear, I mean. Uh, use this bucket. Uh, I really don't like putting this big a bucket on this loader. It, this is really made for uh, like a heavy-duty loader tractor frame. And this is more of a medium loader on here, but it should be, suffice for now. We're not going to go crazy with it. Let's see. Oh just like butter like it's supposed to work yeah there we go they get a little bit jumpy in this uh bucket here from time to time oh i got a bale right in front of my trailer here that's a bummer all right i think i can hopefully lift this over and put them on the other side here we're gonna try to see our talent if there's any at all. There we go. Are they on there? Oh, I like butter. So they don't really fit into the bale areas correctly because this is made for the giant's teeny bales. Oh well. Pushies on up over there. Clamp her down. There we go. Fill this trailer on up. This tractor actually handles these big bales. So these are usually normal sized bales that you would see in most fields and states anyways. I don't know, it seems like, I don't know why Giants always makes the bales so small. If that's a normal, do Europeans usually don't make a six foot bale or five foot bale I don't know all right we got most of these bales loaded up here I wasn't I don't know why it keeps on trying to read it there I wasn't able to well I don't know we will probably be it might be able to put two more here on the back we'll put two on the top Ooh, that, that's gonna be awful teetery but it might be able to get done I'm gonna move this because we're a little bit out of the way here and then I'm gonna get two more, put them on the top here, and hopefully I get this put over there by our cattle that been neglected, if you haven't noticed lately. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Look at that. It's almost a work of art. I know, I know, I know. But make sure you smash that like button. If you don't know, you could save a ton at Apex Gaming. They make super computers. They make computers made just for Farming Simulator if you want. You can save a ton by using the code SQUAD at the end. But check them out. Pretty good deals there. Almost cheaper than building a computer yourself. Alright, see you later, y'all.